Now to a big arrest overnight, a major Democratic donor, Ed Buck, is in custody this morning, charged with operating a drug house and linked to the deaths of two men at his home. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, is in the West Hollywood, is in West Hollywood with the latest. Good morning to you, Matt. Hey, good morning, Michael. In the space of just a few months, Ed Buck went from being Democratic Party darling to accused predator, with the LADA saying that he lured men struggling with homelessness and addiction to this apartment with the promise of drugs, money, and shelter. But for two of those men, it ended in death, and the LADA says that for others, in near fatal overdoses. Overnight, prominent Democratic donor and LGBTQ political activist Ed Buck arrested after a third man was allegedly overdosed at his West Hollywood home. Buck, seen here being let out of his Hollywood apartment and placed in the back of a police SUV trying to duck photographers. But he's been highly visible as a Democratic donor, giving more than $100,000 to the party over the years and hosting fundraisers for Hillary Clinton, former Governor Jerry Brown, and Congressman Ted Lieu. This morning, Buck is charged with battery, operating a drug house, and providing methamphetamine to a 37-year-old man who survived an overdose after investigators say Buck injected him with the drug. But according to prosecutors, two other men weren't as lucky. We're going to be out here every night. Earlier this year, anger and protest after police say they found the body of 55-year-old Timothy Dean inside Buck's home, the same location where officials say 26-year-old Jamel Moore died of a drug overdose back in July 2017. Buck was not charged in either man's death, and he denied any wrongdoing in both incidents. I don't care if he was in his 20s, 30s, 40s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, or older. He was a black man, and he died of an overdose in Ed Buck's house. And given the fact that the DA says that Buck personally injected his victims with meth, the family of one of those victims, Jamel Moore, wondered in a statement, quote, why it took several overdoses and two deaths to finally take action. Now, we reached out to Buck's attorney, who has not responded so far. If convicted of these charges, Buck faces over five years in prison, and his bail robin set at $4 million. Many people watching this, Matt. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.